the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Daniel chapter 2 and verse 44. Very powerful scripture. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms and it shall stand forever. And it shall stand forever. Listen, we belong to a kingdom that is invincible the one who died for us is not only a savior he is king the monarch not only of this universe the monarch he sits alone without any threat whatsoever there are kings that need people to watch their back just in case there is conspiracy. Lucifer tried it and there was war in heaven. And the Bible says, Michael the archangel, that he judged him and there was no place found for him. Satan, that old serpent. He sits over the circumference of time and manipulates everything according to his will. The Bible says, Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6, it says, For without faith, it is impossible to please him. The protocol is that he that cometh unto God, you must come believing that he exists. You are, not, you are not coming before a politician. You are not coming before a consular of a, a, an embassy to give you a visa. You are coming before not only your savior, but the monarch of the universe. When he says, done, believe me, it is done. Kings are not talkatives. It is, a, it is a system to validate their authority. When you find a king that is a talkative, it means there is a threat to his understanding of power. When they speak, it is by the decree of the king. And the Bible says, where the word of the king is there is power i believe in the name of jesus that in this service tonight the king will speak over someone's life speak over someone's destiny it was the king that gave the rivers their borders and said thus far have you come do not cross this boundary and for thousands of years millions they have kept in obedience regardless the rebellion of satan when the earth was immersed in water it was at the decree of the king that the rivers returned back to their place of habitation and gave room for land this king that we serve is a mighty king he is god but he is king our confidence is based on the fact that he stands behind us like a mighty terrible one are we blessed i have come to you tonight oh king of zion give me an encounter go ahead and pray go ahead and pray the king of kings the lord of lords the one whose kingdom there is no end we worship Speak to our hearts tonight. Grant us superior wisdom. 
by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you please be seated they go from strength to strength as many as appear before the Lord in Zion when we come week in week out we come to encounter strength we come to encounter the wisdom of the Spirit hallelujah I welcome everyone this is koinonia thank you so much for the sacrifice of your time especially for those who have come from far and near i i think i promised last week i hope i'm right on that that we're going to recognize and honor our international guests did we do that already i think we did that did we do that last week anyway all of our international guests may god bless you we thank you for the sacrifice of coming from across the globe. The Lord bless you. We have people coming in literally every week and we recognize and honor your sacrifices. One thing for sure is you will not come here and go back the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me just honor a few people for sake of um, protocol. Um, we have our very own father, Bishop Obi Onubogu. God bless you. God bless you, Daddy. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Who would know and believe that 84 years looks like this? Hallelujah. We covet that grace, Daddy. Sorry for the embarrassment, but we covet that grace. 84 years, standing, strong, tall, serving the purposes of the kingdom we honor you sir we honor you hallelujah praise the name of the lord we also have in our midst a dear wonderful man of god reverend chidi okorafo let's honor him god bless you god bless you sir thank you so so much sincerely appreciate you thank you we have reverend yusuf akila thank you so much house on the rock just thank you I have my dear friend and brother, Pastor Fred Zamani. God bless you. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you. And our very own Pastor Peter Sadiq. God bless you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Everyone who has come, we honor and we recognize you. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Commanding salvation over territories, part two. We're looking at a two-part series that seeks to give us understanding on how to command salvation over territories. Last, the week before last, when we considered part one, the sub team was the witness of mighty works. I did teach us that results are evangelists, they also preach that it is not just men that preach mighty works are also witnesses across a territory and that personal results are a mighty tool as far as evangelism and the enthroning of Christ is concerned that when believers contend to see results in their lives it is not just for the sake of gratifying the flesh and a sense of progress that God is interested in your producing results because the evidence that comes from and through your life is able to preach to a territory. Hallelujah. That there is a dimension of the gospel that should not be preached by men. It should be preached by results. Results have a voice. Results have a language that the territory can understand. Are we together now? And that if the church of the Lord Jesus Christ and if believers are barren of results, there is a dimension of kingdom advance that cannot happen at a territorial level. I told us that it matters that a territory gets saved. A territory can be born again, not just individuals. What happens to the human spirit can happen to a territory. Every territory has a soul and it can be saved too. Are we together? 
But that altar call will not be made just by the speakings of men. It is your results that makes that altar call. And that the dexterity of your result can call a territory to its knees to acknowledge Jesus. I told you that individuals can be saved and yet not be safe. Because the safety of the individuals depends on the salvation of the territory. Are we following now? For a long time, the context of our evangelism has been limited to personal salvations. And that is important. But if we stop there, it is possible for an individual to be saved and a territory is in decadence. And the saved individual becomes a victim of the decadence of the territory. An example was Lot in Sodom and Gomorrah. Lot had honor to the God of the Bible, but because he was dwelling amongst a people who were perverse, it took the intervention of the angels to help him and his family. Is that true? Yes. When Isaiah saw the Lord in chapter 6, he made two confessions. Number one, he said, I am a man of unclean lips. Then number two, I dwell amidst the people of unclean lips. So if you are the only one who is saved in your territory, you may be saved as far as your personal salvation is concerned. But the territory, you can be a victim of that territory. Sadly, it is purported that many, many nations in Africa and the world are corrupt. My question is, are you corrupt as an individual? But you have to answer a corporate name because you are in a territory that has not been saved. So territorial salvation matters to God as much as personal salvation. Can I tell you this? When we do not pay attention to the salvation of a territory all it takes is one generation of godly men to pass away and decadence will return and become the order of the day we have seen this in scripture we have seen this through church history that it is possible for satan to be patient and allow a whole generation of those who call upon the name of the lord to be saved when moses was advocating the exodus of god's people from egypt pharaoh began to make negotiations and he said we will allow you but we will keep your children moses said no way we are all going the command is for all of us so just because you are saved does not mean everything is all right if your territory does not answer to god you will have to find out what is happening to the schools where your children go to you will have to find out what happens to you in the hospital you will have to find out what happens to the police and all the institutions within that territory a territory can and should be born again the power and the witness of mighty works it is on account of this that we sincerely desire to produce results results all wise we are motivated by the understanding that our results are preachers so it is not just a manifesto of the flesh a desire to have and to become it is a desire that in and through our results that message of the gospel be preached to the territory are we together now and we looked at a few reasons why individuals do not command the kind of results that can preach to a territory i listed four of them let me do a quick recap and we'll get into tonight's teaching number one i said over dependence on the strength of the flesh you still remember that the reason why we are not able to see the manifested power of god in and through our lives is because there is over dependence on the strength of the flesh technology individuals philosophies and the formula of men number two ignorance and disobedience to god's principles god is a god of systems and ignorance and disobedience to his principles and his systems will always leave the believer defeated my people hosea lamented chapter 4 and verse 6 are destroyed even though they are my people they are destroyed for the lack of knowledge ignorance and disobedience to god's principles number three 
demonic oppression the third reason why individuals do not command and produce the kinds of results in and through their lives that bring glory to jesus is demonic oppression the bible is very clear as to the fact that the whole world lies in wickedness in first thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18 like we considered the week we discussed this that i would have come to you paul was speaking to the church in thessalonica he said but satan hindered us satan does not just hinder men satan can hinder things he can hinder doors from opening he can hinder help us from reaching you it is possible and then number four we said the fourth reason why believers do not command results in their lives is that they trivialize and ignore the place of spiritual empowerment in this kingdom it takes empowerment to rise and to reign ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10 it says to be strong in the lord and in the power of his might our strength is derived from the power of his might keep that scripture let's look at amplified it says to draw your strength from your union your oneness with him it says in conclusion be strong in the lord be empowered through your union with him draw your strength from him that strength which his boundless might provides your oneness with christ has a spiritual implication you should be strong in that consciousness are we together the bible clearly tells us that it is through the greatness of his power psalm 66 and verse 3 that the enemies submit themselves there are wicked spirits across territories and it takes the power of the holy spirit to dislodge them and enthrone christ hallelujah commanding salvation over territories part one was the witness of mighty works let's go to part two now commanding salvation over territories part two i want to teach you a very deep mystery tonight please open your spirit your mind if you understand what i want to teach you tonight you will command dominion over territories and i trust god that god will use us in no small way to bring not just individuals but territories to the saving knowledge of jesus commanding salvation over territories part two we're going to be looking at the power of prophetic intercession commanding salvation over territories the power of prophetic intercession jeremiah chapter 27 and verse 18 we'll look at three scriptures or four and then i'll begin to read please read with me it's projected ready read but if they be prophets and if the word of the lord be with them let them now make intercession to the lord of hosts that the vessels which are left in the house of the Lord and in the house of the king of Judah and at Jerusalem go not to Babylon. If it is true that they are prophets, if it is true that the word of the Lord is with them, then they should make intercession to stop what is left from going to Babylon. The power of prophetic intercession. The Bible is very clear as to the fact that there is the ministry of the intercessor. That intercession is a ministry. And that all believers without reservation are called into that ministry. In as much as there are people who are uniquely graced to be intercessors but that the ministry of intercession like the work of the evangelist who named the name of christ first timothy chapter 2 from verse 1 to 4 
first timothy chapter 2 and verse 1 to 4 please pay attention i exhort therefore that first of all supplications prayers intercessions and giving of thanks be made for all men reading to verse 4 for kings and for all that are in authority that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life that means the quietness and the peace of that territory does not just depend on what happens in the government house does not just depend on what happens technologically that the saints have an assignment in maintaining peace over their territories in all godliness and honesty verse 3 for this is good and acceptable in the sight of god our savior who desires that all men be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth and all this happens through the ministry of intercession we intercede for all men for kings for nobles for those in authority hebrews chapter 7 and verse 25 listen to this and look at it very carefully wherefore he is able to save them to the uttermost that come to god by him because of a mystery seeing that he ever liveth to make intercession it is because he makes intercession that we know salvation can reach to the uttermost he is able to save them to the uttermost that come unto God, seeing that there is a ministry that he engages in that does not fail, that he makes intercession for them. What is intercession? Intercession is not just mere prayer. What is intercession? The word intercede means to midwife. The word intercede means to become a bridge. Please pay attention. The word intercede means to stand in the gap. Are we together now? Yes. So intercession gives the idea of mediating over a person, over a people, so that the counsel of darkness, spiritually speaking now, does not prevail over their life and so that the purposes of God find expression over their lives. To intercede means to stand in the gap in prayer over individuals, over families, over cities, over territories, over nations to the intent that number one, the purposes and the counsel of darkness be thwarted over those individuals and number two the purposes of christ be enthroned the assignment of intercession seeks to do two things number one to prohibit the hand of satan the plot of darkness over individuals and then it seeks to release the purposes of god to find expression you have to understand this the intercessory ministry has to do with stopping the hand of darkness because i hope you know from scripture that the church being the light of the world is the principal limitation to the reign of darkness is that true yes that it, the presence of the church is the reason why evil cannot prevail intercession withholding the plot of darkness over individuals over families over nations over territories and allowing the course of the kingdom to find expression many believers do not understand the place of prophetic intercession in birthing the purposes of god over the lives of individuals and territories Are we blessed? Ezekiel chapter 22. Let's read from verse 23. Please pay attention to this scripture. 
Ezekiel 22 from verse 23 and the word of the Lord came unto me saying son of man say unto her thou art a land that is not cleansed nor reigned upon in the day of indignation there is a conspiracy of her prophets in the midst thereof like a roaring lion ravening the prey they have devoured souls they have taken the treasure and precious things they have made her many they have made her many widows in the midst thereof 26 her priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy things they have put no difference between holy and profane neither have they showed difference between the unclean and the clean and have hid their eyes from my sabbath and i am profaned among them next verse her princes in the midst thereof are like wolves ravening the prey this is a description of the state of a territory to shed blood are you aware of the latest passion you see in our region over human sacrifices does that give you any concern this is what the bible is saying to shed blood and to destroy souls to the intent that they get dishonest gain 28 and her prophets have doubted them an untempered mortar seeing vanity and divining lies unto them saying thus saith the lord when the lord has not spoken 29 the people of the land have used oppression and have exercised robbery and have vexed the poor and the needy yea they have oppressed the stranger wrongfully next verse and i sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge that is the spiritual definition of intercession and stand in the gap before me for what the land not just for the people that I should not destroy it but I found the consequence next verse therefore I have poured out my indignation upon them I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath their own ways I have recompensed upon their heads say yet the Lord God can I tell you this tragedy awaits any territory tragedy awaits any family tragedy awaits any people group that ignores the ministry of prophetic intercession i tell you why darkness seems to prevail over territories unhindered because there are christians there are prayer warriors but there are very few intercessors the selfishness of believers that has come as a result of immaturity and lack of spiritual growth has also translated to their prayer lives just because you are praying does not mean you are walking in spiritual accuracy are we blessed there are many examples of intercession in scripture i'll pick three to help us understand that intercession is a powerful ministry number one let's go to the patriarch abraham the bible says look unto abraham your father and to sarah that body so we are looking up to him to study in genesis chapter 18 please give us from verse 16 remember the visitation of the three angels that came to abraham haven't served them the bible says and the men arose long reading be patient they arose up from tents and looked towards Sodom. And Abraham went with them to bring them on the way. Uh -huh. Very quickly, please. And the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do? Seeing that Abraham shall surely be a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. For I know him that he will command his children and his household after him that they shall keep the way of the Lord to do justice and judgment that the Lord might bring upon Abraham that which he had spoken. 20. 
And the Lord said, listen carefully now, because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great and because their sin is very grievous, I will go down now and see whether they have done altogether according to the cry of it, which is come unto me. And if not, I will know. And the men turned their faces from tents and went towards Sodom. But Abraham stood yet before the Lord. And Abraham drew near and said, Will thou also destroy the righteous and the wicked? This is the character of an intercessor. Please go to 23. Are you seeing here that whether Sodom is destroyed or not, it was none of his business. But he reached out to say, Look, I, I do not mean to dishonor you, but are you also going to destroy the righteous? and the wicked next verse per adventure there be 50 righteous within that city will thou also destroy and not spare the place for 50 righteous that are therein that be that be far from thee to do after this manner to slay the righteous with the wicked and that the righteous should not be as the wicked that be far from thee shall not the judge of all the earth do right look at look at look at look at him engaging intelligence in intercession and the lord said if i find in sodom 50 righteous within that city what a city then i will spare all the place for their sake and abraham answered and said behold now i have taken upon me to speak unto the lord which i am but dust and ashes 28 per adventure there shall lack five of the 50 righteous will thou destroy the city for lack of five and he said if i find 40 and five i will not destroy it 29 and he spake unto him yet again and said per adventure there shall be 40 found there and he said, I will not do it for 40's sake. Abraham, is it not enough? Watch an intercessor. And he said unto him, Oh, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak. Peradventure, there shall 30 be found there. And he said, I will not do it if I find 30 there. And he said, Behold now, I have taken upon me to speak unto the Lord per adventure there shall be 20 found there and he said i will not destroy it for 20 sake you are even tired already you that is reading the story you see how you are weary and tired i say what i abraham are we together and he said oh let not the lord be angry and i will speak yet but this once per adventure 10 shall be found there and he said i will not destroy it for the sake of ten i will not destroy it for the sake of ten abraham was safe abraham was fine listen to the commendation that god said about abraham that as far as you and your children are i know you will teach them right yet abraham hold on here we want to go and visit a territory and he said please i know that is not my concern but intercession has made it my concern will you destroy the righteous and the wicked example number two jesus jesus the intercessor luke chapter 22 from verse 31 luke 22 from verse 31 remember the story of simon and satan coming into him and the lord said simon simon behold satan had desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat but i have prayed for thee i didn't pray for myself that means satan would have prevailed because the spiritual intelligence to immune yourself from his effect you do not yet have it but i bridge that gap 
in prayer that thy faith fail not and when you are converted use this strategy of intercession to also secure your brethren that while they are still learning the ways of god satan will not have advantage of them that means when you are converted become an intercessor and the people you train train them to also become intercessors john 17 look at the ministry of intercession verse 1 jesus lifted up his eyes to heaven watch jesus intercede now father the hour is come glorify thy son that thy son may glorify thee uh-huh as thou hast given him power over all flesh that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him three this is eternal life that they might know thee the only true god and jesus christ whom thou hast sent it says i have glorified thee in the earth i have finished the work which thou gavest me to do five now O father glorify me with thy own self and with the glory that i had with thee from before the world was uh-huh i have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me and they have kept your word verse seven now they have known all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee verse 8 for i have given unto them the words which thou gavest me and they have received them and have known surely that i came out from thee and they have believed that thou didst send me verse 9 i pray for them i pray for them jesus the intercessor i pray for them i pray not for the world but for them which thou hast given me for they are thine verse 10 it says all and all mine are thine and thine is mine and i am glorified in them watch the prayer of jesus now and now i am no more in the world but these are in the world and i come to thee holy father and it says keep through thy own name those that thou has given me that they may be one as we are this is why i know the oneness of the body of christ must come to pass because the person who prayed that prayer request was jesus himself regardless the differences you see now there is something called the unity of faith are we together Romans chapter 8 and verse 34 for sake of time we are looking at Jesus the intercessor Romans 8 34 who is he that condemneth it is Christ that died yea rather that is risen again who is even at the right hand of God who also makes intercession for us that even after he resurrected after his coronation crowning him lord he still today makes intercession for the saints third example of intercession in scripture the early church acts chapter 12. i hope you know that the condition for anything to be a doctrine there is theologically speaking now anything is a doctrine if and when it was adumbrated in the old testament condition number one it was captured in the life and the experience of jesus number two and it was practiced in the early church number three any truth and any mystery that does not satisfy that threefold condition cannot be called a doctrine it must be adumbrated foreshadowed in the old testament it must be captured in the life the earth work of jesus and it must have been practiced by the early church are we together acts chapter 12 let's start our reading from verse 1 now about the time herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church too and he killed james the brother of john with the sword and because he saw it that it pleased the jews 
he proceeded further are you seeing what happens when we don't pray notice that the spirit of the antichrist was the one walking through herod he there were three people who were with jesus at the mount of transfiguration i hope you know there were different classification of the disciples is that true there was the 72 there was the 12 there was the three and then there was john the beloved all of them had different experiences there was something the 12 had that the 72 did not have there was something the three saw that the remaining 12 did not see satan knowing this began to handpick those he will destroy peter james and john remember the pillars he destroyed james they beheaded james historically speaking and he saw that it pleased the people and he went straight to peter if he was done with peter he would have destroyed john there was something now you read the gospel and you find out read the writings of these three people james peter john aside from the pauline epistles you read their exegesis on on, on on the truth of god's word there were mysteries that were given to them and satan knowing this the spirit of the antichrist were coming there the spirits that move across territories herod just thought he was being political because it pleased them he wanted to kill them so that the people would like him but he did not know he was under the influence over that territory the bible says and because he saw that it pleased the jews he proceeded further say no way shout it say no way evil will always proceed further when there are no intercessors let me tell you this satan will come to a family and test something and watch the reaction if all that he sees is just discussion and carnal analysis he will proceed further i tell you satan has the ability to proceed further if unhindered look at this he proceeded further to take peter also he tested your finances and you kept quiet you just assumed nothing was wrong your health is coming i assure you whatever satan touches in your life and around your environment is not the only thing he wants he wants everything but he will touch something first and watch the reaction if he finds out you are lukewarm and cold and careless and it does not matter everybody in the family just became sick overnight i'm sure it's just the weather he's coming again he will proceed father the bible says then were the days of unleavened bread verse 4 and when he had apprehended him peter now he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him intending that after easter to bring him forth to the people peter would have died peter was kept in the prison help me read believers but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto god for him that means everything satan planned would have happened but a midwife came in a prophetic midwife parasuda pakata this night a grace is coming on someone that listen based on the architecture of satan it is like a spiritual room they have plotted your family already they have plotted everything and he signed already time for execution but they did not factor you in that plan hear me the reason why job became a victim of what he saw was because there was no intercessor to stand for job if there was an intercessor satan would be wasting his time hear me the catastrophe did not just touch job's children because he was an intercessor for them but no one was an intercessor for him so when the devil got their intercessor he got them too but prayer was made without season of the church unto god for your office for nigeria for your family for your business for your village prayer 
was made unto God that means could it be that it was not the plan of God for James to die could it be that their intercessory ministry came late so that lateness made one person to pay the price could it be that John the Baptist was beheaded easily and cheaply because there was no intercessor we know that Jesus was preserved because there were two strange intercessors Simeon the prophet and Anna the prophetess otherwise they would have killed Jesus oh. please sit down prayers was made unto God to, by the church for him let's read verse 6 last verse and when Herod would have brought him forth the same night the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and the keepers before the door of the prison let's finish up and put perspective to it verse 7 and behold at the instance of intercession the angel of the Lord question where was that angel with James if we do not understand the principles or the mystery of prophetic intercession our territory will remain godless our territory will remain helpless our families will remain bankrupt of the power and the salvation of Jesus Christ now principles of prophetic intercession let me teach you the principles of prophetic intercession in another series we're going to be dealing um, deeper but just to give the foundation the intercessory ministry is based on two principal foundations please listen carefully the intercessory ministry is based on two principal foundations number one the law of love the first foundation upon which the intercessory ministry rests is the law of love love for God and love for people First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 4 tells us that God desires that all men be saved and then when they are saved that they don't just stop there but that they grow and mature and come into the knowledge of the truth. So the intercessory ministry is founded on the law of love. You cannot become an intercessor when there is self alive in you. Remember my definition of love, the absence of self. You are walking in love to the degree that there is the absence of self. Why go through the labor of prayer, the labor of fasting, the labor of stretching and discomforting yourself over an issue that is not your business can i tell you this as you will be learning everything you make happen for someone you are delivering yourself to from that trouble that was the mistake of esther when esther had a chance to advocate she was in the palace she was already immune don't forget this is the wife of the king and mordecai sent a warning to her he said if you leave us god will raise another help for us but when they are done with us when they find out you are a jew too you will see what will happen to you in that palace and esther said no 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 she put on her sackcloth and ashes he said i'm i'm going to the king but let us fast and pray pray for me so that i can intercede for you too they were all, all intercessors for one another they prayed for her and she went before the king violated the ordinance of approaching his presence and yet he lifted the golden censer because prayer had gone of him if she just stepped in carelessly and casually 
that inner chamber that would have been the last time what happened to Vashti at least Vashti was driven away she would have been killed you know those days they kill they don't forgive no counseling no nothing they kill straight to the point the law of love you see most of what we do as believers that we think is spirituality is just a marketing of flesh there is such and let me tell you this you know you are growing spiritually to the degree to which you and your interest decreases where you are burdened with the purposes of the kingdom greater than your personal desires that was temptation number one when satan came to jesus temptation number one was your individual appetite turn this stone to bread you are hungry you need bread forget about your assignment and what your father sent you satisfy your hunger and jesus said i've moved past that realm the agenda of god is bigger than my personal hunger are we together now many of us as prayerful as we are everything centers around us not even your family members not even your wife not even your husband it's none of your business what happens to anybody provided i am hot then i pray if i am fine to hell with what is happening in the body respectfully speaking and with all due respect and honor to the body of christ even we men of god we have this spirit and we have mentored and taught members to walk like that whatever is happening to the church is not your business provided koinonia is fine provided we are growing whether a church is being burned whether whatever is happening that's none of your business we are fine do not make the mistake of esther you know you are matured spiritually when you can receive the pain that is in the heart of jesus so that you find yourself fasting for three days over an issue that is entirely not your business god can trust you with the salvation of many and say listen in this family in seven days all of them are about to die this is what satan has programmed and there is the spirit that brings salvation over around the family there is no intercessor and he comes to you can i trust you for the redemption of this family and you can wake up in the night i can't be trusted lord what are we doing it's none of your business you just stand and while you pray angels come and you find out that by prophecy that family should die Ex listen don't fear negative prophecy when there is an intercessor no 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 there are only few prophecies in the bible that are called written judgments they can't be changed a bulk of the things that happen in our lives it is within the power of the believer to change if you know and understand god's system are we together now so the intercessory ministry is based on two foundations let's hurry up number one the law of love love for god and love for people the intercessory ministry is not based on the desire to pray uh -uh. the intercessory ministry is not based on the desire to be powerful no love is the genuine biblical foundation for the intercessory ministry number two the second foundation for the intercessory ministry is the principle of shared dominion the second foundation upon which the intercessory ministry sits on is the principle of shared dominion psalms 115 and verse 16 psalms 115 and verse 16 Yeshua, ah, 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 Yeshua, ah, 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 
you see let me tell you this the church is an advantage the church is not a disadvantage to civilization the house of god is where the mysteries of the kingdom are dispensed it is where high level spiritual understanding is given to believers i was glad he said when they said unto me let the house of god is not an interruption to your time it's an advantage to your destiny are we together behold i show you a mystery please give me that scripture again the heaven even the heavens are the lord's but the earth has he given to the children of men in theology we call this the principle of shared dominion now as you know the church and the believer has been given dominion but our dominion is not absolute dominion our dominion is derived are we together now that means to we depend on what we were given god's dominion is absolute dominion but the dominion of the believer is shared dominion and here's how god created the system please watch this that the heaven of heavens belong to the lords but the earth he has given to the children of men do you know what that means that means he placed man according to genesis 1 26 to 28 he gave man dominion over the earth and its entirety that means if god wants to do anything on earth and if satan wants to do anything on earth both god and satan must add men to the equation of dominion for anything to happen in the earth God has the power to veto man but he has limited himself to honor man by saying man as far as the earth is concerned you must become a factor to reckon with if anything will happen in the earth do you know why Satan is powerful Satan is powerful for as long as there is one unsaved person and one ignorant person this is where Satan derives his strength the confidence of Satan is based on the fact that he thinks it will be impossible for everybody on earth to be saved and everybody to come into the fullness of the stature so he knows provided there is one available vessel a legion was in one person this is satan's confidence he is not moved by the fact that many things are happening he's threatened but not moved because there is still one person he can deceive there is still one soul he can kill, steal, and destroy from. There is a law called the law of territory. That means you are not allowed to be a legitimate functionary within a territory until you are built with the materials of that territory. Are we together now? You cannot go to heaven. You cannot even enter the realm of the spirit with this body it has to change that is why when you are having a visionary experience it's your spirit that accesses that realm the physical body remains here when you dream it's not your body the body you see there is just a spirit body are we together now remember we can leave but we are not going with this body something will happen according to the authority of scripture when the trumpet sounds those who are dead in christ will rise first is that true Go to the grave and see whether their bodies are there it's decayed already so another body would be given to them bodies incorruptible and we who are alive and are kept we will be changed are we together now yes the reason why demons the reason why spirits cannot function legitimately on earth is because they did not descend to the earth with a body a body was only made for adam and his generation are you seeing that now if you know this you will now well, we have the mystery of deliverance coming so let me not hurry up i will be teaching you a deep mystery why people go to bed and see these spirits come to molest them i will teach you what they are looking for because spirits are genderless there is no male and female spirit so what is the appearance of that man that comes to you 
or that woman that comes to you there is a mystery and there is an explanation what are they looking for but let's limit ourselves to what we are discussing now are we learning already the intercessory ministry is based on two foundations number one the law of love number two the principle of shared dominion that means when it has to do with happenings in the earth it is not all up to God and it is not all up to man there is a participatory role that we have to play so don't look at the earth and say if there is a God in heaven this answers the question that people say if there is a God of heaven in heaven why is there killing and raping and maiming people I will tell you that part of the equation came as a result of man's carelessness are we together it is the reason why there are territories today that do not call upon the name of Yeshua and yet there is dexterity and order within that territory because they took advantage of the principles of scripture that make for leadership and they replicated heaven within that territory the principle of shared dominion question what power does Satan use to destroy man who can answer that question do you know what power Satan uses <laughs> once have I spoken twice have you heard that all power belongs to the Lord do you believe that scripture where then does Satan get this power how come he is so powerful I will tell you it is not just because he was once a cherub that covereth it is not just because he deceived one-third of the angels are we together now in as much as it is true you see one thing with light is that once you have received light light is like DNA the memory and the imprint of that light remains with you this is why ah, do I should we talk about this now for God's sake. now watch this if I am a herbalist God forbid God forbid in the name of Jesus I'm saying it on air so that you get it clearly because of the times that we live in listen carefully it's just an example now watch this let's assume that as a young boy I was introduced into traditional practice and they opened my eyes using divination if I get born again that opening will not close again are you getting now yeah. what happens is just that the agency that sponsors that activity will change but that advantage remains with you completely <laughs> listen satan was once the light bearer the imprint of that light you see even though he's fallen right now it cannot be undone again like to brainwash the mysteries listen carefully there are three levels of accessing power the highest is power through intimacy relationship are we together now the highest level of spiritual power comes through intimacy the second level comes by accessing the mysteries of the kingdom. There is a dimension of the power of God invested in mysteries. You don't need a relationship for that to work. All you need is understanding and the faith to engage it. This is the kind of power that is used by herbalists and spiritualists. Those who practice divination, what they are teaching them are things that are largely founded from scripture but empowered by demonic agencies that's why they fast too that's why they do all of these things too whether you are serving god or satan you will still fast is that true because there is something it can do to you remember the prophets of baal and elijah did you not see a similarity of operations between two of them and yet one belonged to baal and one belonged to god 
and all of them needed altars all of them needed sacrifices all of them needed fire to come down I hope you are we're still together this night yes if you do not understand the principle of shared dominion the devil will take advantage of your life and you will sit down and believe everything that is happening to you is the will of God Satan will deceive you into saying look if it happens is the will of God just give thanks because you do not understand that the heaven of heavens belong to the Lord but the earth has he given to the sons hezekiah would have said all right that's okay i've heard you hezekiah said no way i'm not ignorant as a king he turned to the wall and began to negotiate the law of love and the principle of shared dominion now for sake of time very quickly there there are there are two basic principles listen carefully there are two basic principles that govern prophetic intercession number one the first principle is you must discern and understand the controlling powers over regions and over territories you want to become a prophetic intercession uh, intercessor you must understand discern and understand the controlling powers over regions and over territories daniel chapter 10 and verse 13 please look up there are many people who pray and pray and miss prophetic intercession is not just prayer request these are deeper levels of prayer that work with high level spiritual intelligence this was daniel remember when the angel came to him gabriel now he was giving him an explanation as to why he came late he says but the prince of the kingdom of persia withstood me one and twenty days but lo michael one of the chief princes came to help me and i remained there with the king of persia what was the king of persia fighting verse 14 now i am come to make thee understand what shall befall who thy people he was not attacking daniel he was attacking salvation that was coming to the people through the revelation that will be given to daniel and he discerned the prince of persia he kept praying he set himself to fast and pray for 21 days for the answer to come can i tell you this please look at me the bible does not leave the believer in the dark as to the fact that satan has an organized demonic structure this is not teaching or glorifying satan but it's the truth from scripture it was paul in his pauline epistle that opened us up to that spiritual stratification of demonic activities to the end that we be enlightened are we together now most believers are completely ignorant as to the devices of the enemy and we just wave it and say no problem jesus has died that's all right when they teach you in driving schools why do they talk to you about accidents and other things do they plan to kill you no but that awareness is important is that true you ask pilots when they train them they simulate different scenarios of plane crashes so that they build a management system around it the goal is not for them to crash but that that possibility exists in their entire time and it is better that they are enlightened do not be ignorant, he said, of the devices of the enemy. Satan has devices. And many believers are ignorant. And Satan rides upon our ignorance to begin to cause us a plethora of catastrophes. God is bringing light to us tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. How do you know? the controlling powers over territories look at me 
you study the controlling powers over territories by looking at the prevalent patterns that are within that territory you can know the spirits that control territories and please hear me if you're a minister of the gospel hear this and learn this so that when god sent you to a territory you don't just go and get a building or build and start you have to understand what you are confronting there are territories where you don't find old people there you get to a certain age range there is a spirit that cuts you off there are territories where you don't find children you find very old people but they renew their lives with children there are territories where it is the women that feed the men once you are within that territory as a woman you are the man and the man is the woman born again tongue talking but you find out that the men are limited the house is paid for by the woman don't feel bad i'm not i'm not trying to look down on you but it ought not to be so that is not god's order are we together now there are families where the parents are always greater than the children you can give birth to eight children the highest of them will become something you are not proud of saying no matter how hard working have you seen people travel to america after 10 20 years they return back like armed robbers they look like the spirit of the city there are cities you enter and you can remember everything from when you were a child nothing changed regardless and in that city they will tell you the best professor came out from that city in the best the it people people come out from that city to bless the world and yet the city does not change there are spirits that keep it yes sir how about spirits of poverty you hear that someone was doing well and just came to a city and he starts going down until he looks like the city You want to become an intercessor yes this also applies to families there are families where things don't work please don't I hope you understand what I'm teaching you now yes father was educated and serious mother was educated and serious all the children graduates grandchildren graduates and yet nobody can have a decent job the most successful person the longest person who worked there worked only three years go and read your bible now i hope you understand what i'm teaching you now i'm not trying to get you emotional if i mention a case that relates to yours i hope you understand that i'm just teaching generally do we understand now there are families, for instance, where the greatest people who represent the strength of that family always die. The moment someone gets a job with NMPC and he says, glory be to God, he dies. So you find a territory with weak people. All the people that have the strength to bring deliverance. There is a spirit that comes to cut them short. You are not an intercessor if you do not understand the burden of the territory. What are you praying over? you don't just listen an intercessor does not say god give people jobs oh god give people children that's a child's prayer you come to the root of the problem the controlling powers many years ago you've heard it in my teachings many years ago i went to preach somewhere in northern nigeria it was a crusade a can crusade i think or, or something of that sort and through god is my witness I saw several something was happening to the women now I'm not a medical doctor but every time they gave birth they became deaf and dumb immediately not one not two not eight not ten I said I, well, I'm not a doctor but at least I have I did biology enough to know that this is what is the relationship between giving birth and becoming deaf and dumb once you see a prevalent pattern it is not sickness it is a spirit are we together there are family members where children of 12 years have high blood pressure what is the child thinking about you really think that's a disease no 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 even medical science tells us sometimes they trace certain sicknesses and they'll say does your father have it does your mother have it 
in the name of Jesus let me speak over someone any pattern that will not allow your family represent the purposes of God I call upon the God of my covenant this night it lives your life forever please sit down I have seen patterns of poverty over families there are territories where the preachers never break through. Anointed, they love God sincerely. Some of the, the holiest, godliest men. And yet the territory does not open. After 10 years, 40 members, it declines to 30. During Thanksgiving, it goes to 80. And you see the people saying, God, did you send me? If only they understood that there are veils and there are gates over territories listen to what i'm telling you there are controlling powers over territories there are controlling powers over regions there are controlling powers over families don't you think the devil will just fold his arms and watch you and your children just go like that there is a pharaoh that will fight your exodus it takes spiritual intelligence to define your possibilities patterns of bad luck patterns of ill health patterns of widespread barrenness mother barren gave birth only after 10 years Father, um, brothers barren sister barren is a demonic thing there are patterns where things that are started never finish have you seen those kinds of things you will see a house they will tell you they started building this house in 1987 until now what is in a house that cannot be built you will hear that the person who had money and came to build it died there have you seen those things don't be afraid of what i'm teaching you is the truth you stand upon a territory Jesus looked over Jerusalem and began to cry. Why was he crying? He saw that there was a spirit that casted blindness on the people. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, he said, if thou had known even in this thy time the things that pertain unto your peace, but they are hidden from you. The widow at Nain, there, is a, there was a pattern that kills all the men in her life. Her husband died. Her only child was about to die. And the intercessor came and said, No, we have to change something here. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaskade bashkana kata branda kate katos. Kate branda kata pakotos koto pray kate kate kata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.